Hey guys, so I had my tongue piercing scheduled for tomorrow, Friday at like 2.30 in the afternoon because I don't have to work tomorrow. And I was just thinking that like, since I don't have to work and I have to wait for it to heal before like going back to work because it affects your talking, that I was like, why don't I just schedule it for today? Like, why didn't I do that? So I called back today and asked if they had anything available today so that I could come in earlier and they did so now I'm going to go get it done in about three hours and I'm freaking out a little bit but I feel like it's not gonna be that bad at all and I'm sure the piercer is going to be super nice about it I'm still freaking out because I've never been to this place before because the usual place that I get my piercings is not open yet due to COVID they actually open tomorrow for the first time and they're still scheduling all their appointments that got canceled so they're not really scheduling new people so I had to find this new place and now I'm freaking out a little but I'm also super excited so I will keep you guys updated before I go get it done short little update for you guys I am working up until my appointment today and this is probably the last normal food that I'll be able to eat for a couple days because I've heard you can't really eat solid foods after getting it done. So cheers to the last supper, I guess. Alright you guys, I just got it done and they feel like they look like a wreck because I had to lay down for it but I don't even know what to think right now. I'm kind of freaking out. This is super ratchet that I'm in my bathroom, but I can't even express how messy my room is. I can't even film in there, even if it is just like my head and a little bit of the background. It's, no, I have to do it here and I'm gonna sit on my bathtub and it's gonna be a little weird, but it's what we're working with. So it's been a little over an hour now and I can definitely feel it more. My talking has been a little different now. When I first got it done, it didn't change at all. And even the guy that did it was like, oh wow, you're talking completely normal. But now I can tell that it's a little different. It hurts when I talk. So this is gonna be fun. LOL, you guys trying to drink out of a straw and swallow any kind of liquid was so difficult. So just to answer some questions, did it hurt? Yes. It hurt more than I thought. I had watched some videos on it and people were like, oh, if you've had your nose done or if you've ever gotten no pain shots at the dentist, it doesn't hurt as bad as that. And so I'm like, oh, this will be a breeze, right? But it hurt pretty bad, I'm not gonna lie. But then again, it wasn't as bad as some other piercings I've gotten. He said to expect some swelling over the next couple of days, especially tonight. He said when I wake up tomorrow morning, it's probably gonna be the worst. I'm just gonna try and take some Advil and suck on some ice chips and Hopefully it won't be too bad. I don't have to work again for a while, so that is helpful. I'm kind of scared to brush my teeth, if I'm being honest, cause like it's huge. So basically I went in, I filled out a bunch of paperwork. He talked me through everything and then he made the marks 
took a little bit to do the marks. Then I laid down for the piercing, which I actually liked. I was kind of scared to sit up because I felt like I would be super tense, but I laid down so that was so much better. It's hurting a little bit now. I'm gonna go take some Advil and I will check back in with you guys tomorrow. So I already have trouble swallowing pills and this was so much harder than I expected. It was just really hard to swallow the pill with the piercing in my mouth because it was just a lot going on and yeah huge struggle just an update for you guys i took an advil about 30 minutes ago and it has helped so much like the pain has gone down a ton and i can talk and i still don't have a lisp so good to go i'm gonna have my dinner aka ice cream all right guys we're on day two i'm gonna call this day two even though it's the day after but as you can tell my talking is a little weird my tongue is pretty swollen this morning which they said to expect i haven't taken any advil yet but i have been eating cereal cinnamon toast crunch i just have to eat them one piece at a time which kind of sucks but at least i can eat that's all i'm happy about i slept pretty well last night the pain was pretty bad. I was kind of regretting it last night because I was in so much pain when I was trying to sleep, but I think it's better this morning. I'm gonna try and take an Advil. Like I said, I just need to get some food in my stomach and I'm actually in the Starbucks drive-thru right now because coffee can't hurt, right? So I'm gonna try some coffee. So I talked about eating cereal when I was in the Starbucks drive-thru, but I only ate a couple pieces. So here I am eating a couple more and I never even got half my bowl of cereal eaten because it was way too difficult and it just hurt. I had to put each piece in one at a time and like shove it back into my molars so that it wouldn't come in contact with my tongue and it was just a lot of work. So next up, I tried to eat some noodles because the 20 pieces of cereal I tried to eat just were not cutting it, so I just needed something more, and this was a huge mistake, as you can see in this very weird video of me trying to eat noodles, but it didn't work. It, they just kind of got wrapped around my tongue ring, and it just felt weird, and I couldn't even take big bites. I couldn't even chew it, so I was like swallowing the noodle pieces without even chewing them and it was just a disaster aka I didn't get any of the noodles really eaten and I just gave up. A little update for you I am so hungry if you know me you know that literally all I do is eat all day and I haven't eaten anything today besides that cinnamon toast crunch. I tried to eat noodles it didn't work and I'm back to goldfish because it's small and I can just kind of shove it in the back of my mouth and chew it that way, but I'm so hungry, you have no idea. And I have to work now, which I wasn't planning on, but hopefully I won't have to talk too much. And I haven't talked like at all today. And I don't think my talking really sounds too bad right now. So that's good. I'm gonna go work and then when I'm done, go home and hopefully, eat some ice and get this swelling down because it's a little painful right now. So in this video, it's about 6.30 and like I said before, all I have had to eat is those couple pieces of cereal and my attempted noodles. So I am shaking at this point and I'm starving. So I tried to eat a granola bar and I ate it all, but it was like the hardest thing in my whole entire life. I had to take the smallest bites and it was really hard to chew. I am done with work for the day, so no more talking for me for definitely the rest of today and honestly, hopefully tomorrow I won't have to talk that much because that definitely makes it hurt more and a little more swollen. One thing I didn't expect to hurt so bad is like the bottom of my mouth, like where the bottom part of the ring sticks into my gums. I don't know if that makes sense. I can't really describe it any better, but there it actually hurts so bad just from the rod is so long to allow for swelling that it's like jamming into the bottom of my mouth and i can feel it if i go like this and it really hurts so i'm looking forward to getting a shorter bar in there because this long one is already annoying me i'm going to the grocery store now and i'm going to pick up some frozen fruit so i can make some smoothies because i need to eat i am so hungry 
and I think I'm gonna pick up some french fries too because I feel like those will be easy to eat. I read that you're not supposed to eat mashed potatoes because you don't even chew them and it's basically like you moving the stuff around with your tongue in your mouth which isn't good for the piercing so no mashed potatoes but I'm gonna try french fries and hopefully make some smoothies and we'll see how that goes. So here I am making the smoothie. Here I am eating the smoothie, which I actually ended up having to eat with a spoon because the straw didn't work, but the smoothie was still a success. Then I made some french fries, which were honestly life-changing at the moment, and I enjoyed them so much. Here I am sucking on some ice before I go to bed to try and control the swelling. Here is my first time brushing my teeth since getting the piercing, and I was just being really careful because I was mostly scared that I was going to bump it and that it was going to hurt a lot, but it wasn't bad at all. All right, we're on day three now and the pain is definitely better. My tongue is still pretty swollen, like the whole thing is just swollen. My talking isn't too bad. I feel like I can tell a difference. I don't know if other people can, but it's definitely still a little weird. The pain is getting better. Right now, the most pain is like in the tip of my tongue and underneath my tongue, which is kind of weird, but yeah, definitely the tip of my tongue is very sore. It's super weird because I can't yawn. Like you don't realize how much yawning uses your tongue muscles, but I can't do that. And sometimes that's kind of annoying because when you have that like big yawn that you need to get out and you just can't, like I still haven't taken any more Advil since the first day that I got it done that I took that Advil. I've been trying to just kind of tough it out and treat it with some ice chips, so I'll probably just keep doing that. Again, last night I was regretting it again. I feel like in the nighttime the pain is just so bad and I'm like, Haven, why did you do this? Why are you putting yourself through this? Is it ever going to get any better? Are you ever going to be able to eat normal? But you know, I'm going through the worst part now. So, so let's hope that it only gets better from here. Well, I just ate some mini corn dogs and some more french fries and I figured you didn't want to watch me stuff my face with food again. So I didn't film myself actually eating them, but I'm just filling you in now that I ate mini corn dogs. So I guess that's a step in the right direction because it's, kind of normal food. I was getting so hungry once again, so I just had to eat something, but now I'll probably not eat too much the rest of the day so that I can give my tongue a rest and I'll probably make another smoothie, but maybe corn dogs. After you get your tongue pierced, you're not supposed to like chew on your nails or bite the skin around your lips just because you don't want to introduce any extra bacteria into your mouth that could possibly get your piercing infected. And if you know me, you know that that is so hard for me to do because I am such a chewer. I, at one point, I just had to grab a floss stick and play with it because I was getting so like anxious that I had to chew on something. And no, I do not have a nicotine addiction. I know that's something that happens when people are addicted to nicotine. I I'm not addicted to nicotine. I just like to chew on shit. I always chew my nails. I always chew my lips. So I made it until today without doing that. But then today, like I just, I kind of broke down. And I'm like, nope, I gotta do it. So I've been trying to do it like cautiously, but I'm sure it's still bad because I'm doing it, but it's really hard. And I didn't realize that that was something that you couldn't do. LOL at this video, but this is one of my five daily rinses that I had to do. So usually I use this toothbrush, which is a Sonicare electric toothbrush, and it's amazing. It's my favorite thing ever, but I was told I need to use a soft bristled toothbrush, and I figured an electric toothbrush would probably be a little hardcore on the new piercing. So right now I'm using this one, which is literally just a travel toothbrush and it's definitely soft bristled. I hate soft bristled because I feel like it doesn't clean my teeth that well, but that's what I'm using. Um, 
It's day three and I could finally brush my tongue before I couldn't brush my tongue because it was so sensitive. The pain is definitely better. Again, probably the most pain is in the tip and underneath and it probably would be better if I did take more Advil, but personally, I don't like to do that. So I've been trying not to and luckily I haven't had to. And another thing about getting your tongue pierced is that you have to sleep with your head above your heart, which usually is fine and that's how normal people sleep but just to be sure I wanted to sleep on the couch to make sure I was propped up a little bit more than I would be in my bed so I've been sleeping on the couch the past couple of nights and I'm hoping tonight will be my last night of that. Day four now and I have some exciting news. Every morning since I got it done I have poured myself a bowl of cereal and I've gotten through about 10 to 20 pieces and then I just give up because it hurts too bad and it takes way too long but but this morning I successfully ate my first bowl of cereal so that's exciting for me. I was also told the first part of swelling will be like the whole tongue and then the second part will be just around the piercing and it'll kind of mountain up and I think I've reached the second part because now I can see that kind of like mountain of swelling and the rest of my tongue isn't as swollen so Another good point here, um, my new soft bristled toothbrush, which I swear it's soft bristled, is destroying my gums in the front, so I'm not very happy about that, and I might just go back to my old toothbrush even though I'm not supposed to. When I woke up this morning, I was in such bad pain that I was scared something was wrong because it was like the worst pain out of all the days. But then once I brushed my teeth and I washed my tongue a little bit, it definitely got better. And so now it's not as painful. I still can't yawn and it's still just a little bit of pain at the tip of the tongue. That's the only place that has pain still, but ate my bowl of cereal. So I think I'm on the way to eating normal again. Day five update for you. I actually wrote down all my things. So I have to refer to my notes here for this. The swelling today has just been around the piercings. There's been still the, just the pain around the tip of the tongue. That's literally all the pain there is. It's not even near the piercing, which is kind of weird. It's just like at the tip of my tongue. I still can't yawn, fun fact. It hurts so bad. It literally feels like someone is ripping my tongue out when I try and yawn. And it's so hard because do you ever just like really want to get that really big, loud, Okay, maybe not loud. That really big like yawn out and oh, it's just so hard not to be able to. It's like having a sneeze and then having to stop it. Like, oh, it sucks. I am eating completely normal food now and I just have to eat slow. I obviously still have a lisp. If you can hear that, it's kind of annoying and I hope it goes away soon. I also went back to using my electric toothbrush because I used a soft bristled toothbrush just a manual one and it tore up my gums. I am also to the point where I can kind of play with it and it doesn't hurt and this is exactly what my mom didn't want me to be doing with it but I'm gonna play with it and I can kind of bump it while eating. There's been a couple times where I've been eating and I like thought the ball was my food and like tried to push it towards my teeth and I'm like oh shit that's not food that's my piercing and it doesn't hurt so that's a great sign. I will check back in when it's been a week and hopefully I'll be able to go get it changed.